In today's video, we're opening 100 epic Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another 100 pack opening. In this video, I have a large variety of Yu-Gi-Oh packs here and there is some good stuff in here. But before we hop into it, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ghost from the Past 2 second haunting box, a little bit too big to show on the, you know, the screen here, but it's like the video, be subscribed, turn on the notifications and let me know in the comments how much money we're gonna make back from this. This is about $850 in packs. I wanna see how much money we can make back out of that. It's probably gonna be a fraction. Let me know your guess in the comments. All right, let's just hop right into it because we do have 100 packs. I know you guys like these longer videos, or at least some of you guys do and i like to you know give them to you guys on the weekend so hopefully you guys will get to see that around then i think it'll be this weekend that i'm recording this uh so hopefully you're enjoying it sit back relax grab some popcorn you know enjoy the video hopefully we're gonna pull some great stuff trying to make back my 850 bucks i don't think it's gonna happen that's an ice jade ultra rare so it's an ultra rare should be excited but it says ice jade which means it's bad all right i i'm not gonna go completely in order here because we do have some you know multiple copies of some packs this is amazing defenders right here let's see if this amazing defenders pack can give us something amazing here we go. Makunko. We have the Stray Pearly. Infernoble Arms. The X Pearly Happiness. That is a super rare and then a couple of rares there. So, okay. All right. Not bad. Okay. Next pack. Photon. Hyper. Nova. Let's see what we can pull. One, two, three, four. Can we get a Starlight Rare? Fed good luck with this set. I would love to continue that good luck by pulling a great card. Chaos Phantasm. Land Flipping. Branded Befallen. We got Scare Claw Cash Tier and Light of the Branded. And Abyss Actor Dress Rehearsal, another super rare. Nothing too crazy there, but we do have a Movie Pack Secret Edition coming up. So I've not opened a lot of these recently, but they have some pretty cool cards inside. First of all, Secret Rare, Dimension Mirage. They're all Secret Rares, by the way. We've got the Dimension Reflector, Magical Contract Door, the Garagil, the Cubic King, and the Endora Doom Volt, the Cubic Emperor. So, bunch of Cubics, nothing too crazy there, though. All right, Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. Could we pull the perfect Ghost Rare Raw? We made a video about this how rare it is to actually pull the ghost raw that's like psa 10 go check it out right here it's pretty crazy it's pretty hard to actually get a ghost raw in great condition so i'm hoping we can do it brain control that is not it this time but we still have a few more packs of those so maybe later in this 100 pack video uh so far i don't think we've made much money back we have not done so odd mischief of the gnomes okay we got the uh, testudo erat newman and Scareclaw Cash Tira, but this time it's a super rare. All right, now we're bringing in the big guns, the 2022, the Tin of Pharaoh Gods. Can we pull the Pot of Prosperity? Now that would be a big money pull. I think it's like 55 bucks, something like that. Beat Trooper Scale Bomber. I've been trying to summon Petite Moth on my Twitch stream, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Check me out, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. This is one of the cards we use. It's a Beat Trooper slash Petite Moth deck. Go check it out. It's been hilarious. Hopefully I'll have posted my video from Twitch by now, but I don't know yet. Check that out on Ruxin Live. Slower Swallow, we have a Sunvine Crossbreed, Breath of Acclamation. We have a Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. And finally, we have the Dual Tower. I saw a spell card and I was like, mm, maybe we got something. That's a secret rare. So a couple of sushi ships there, but not the card we're looking for. All right, speaking of Pot of Prosperity, we have Blazing Vortex, the original Pot of Prosperity set. So let's see if we can get a Starlight Rare. One, two, three, four. Gotta believe that we can do it, guys. Pot of Prosperity, even a Secret Rare would be great. I think it's like 70 bucks out of this set. Spring in, we got the Pair of Metaphors, Melcaster, the Encore, S4 Showdown, Spring It's Call, and a War Rock Gactos. That's War Rock. So yeah, another one that's like, kind of like Ice Shade. If you see a War Rock, you know you're probably not doing so well. Amazing Memories. Let's go up next. We do have some old school packs in here as well, like quite a few of them. We've got some 5Ds. We've got a really good variety of stuff, so we're probably going to be saving those more toward the end. That is a super rare. There is a collector rare version of that one, but I don't think on that pack is the collector rare. So let's see. I don't know what I just said. I spoke like Yoda a little bit there. Duelist Master. Just kidding. <laughs> Tactical Master. So I was like, I started saying Duelist and I was like, I'm just going to accept it and say Duelist Master masters because that is not the right name runic let's see if we can get a big runic card they're pretty valuable because it's still a crazy good deck it's pretty annoying but it's good we have the invader of darkness and uh it's a moon in the runic wing so it's it's runic like we asked for all right i do have 10 of these tactical masters so i'm gonna open up another one of these see what we can do can we pull something big we have astrograph by the way i am only like two cards away from finishing my lab deck i basically completed it so we were opening a lot of this for the lab stuff okay there's a runic destruction and i got most of it so that's if you wanted to hear about that if you want an update there it is i got most of my stuff some of it hooked up to, with me uh from the vop the legend himself he hooked me up with some good cards uh for that deck yeah, but you guys have seen him on the vlog, so you know who I'm talking about. We have the Branded Disciple. If you haven't, go check out the vlog playlist, because I have a whole playlist of all my vlogs. 
uh, as it was retroactive. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we've made back any money yet. I don't know if we've made back really anything. We've had a pretty rough start, but there's always the chance that you pull something big and really you know, redeem yourself here. We have a S-Force. That was a Ruxin special right to the super rear. Okay, Ruxin special doing us in again. Let's see a Photon Hypernova. That's amazing defenders. That's okay. We'll open it up anyway. It doesn't really matter what order we go in here. We're just trying to pull something good. We have the Pearly Yeep, the Extinguish, Pearly Happy Memory, Contain, Makonko. Oh, Ruxin special right to the Pearly Pretty Memory. I think that's going to put us on the board. $1 plus cards only. So let's see. Now we've made this much money. And by made, I do not mean that we've actually profited. I just mean we've like got some of our money back. So more like a revenue kind of thing here, which is this is not revenue at all. But we have Lim uh, Limit Magician Girl. That's actually a good card. I think that's like a dollar. The uh, Crimson. We got the Chaos Farm. I think could be a dollar, but I don't know if it is anymore. And then a Cubic Seed. So actually a decent pack there. We are on a little bit of a hot streak. We've pulled a few cards that are worth more than a dollar, which is not bad. That's the direction we want to be going in. Let's see if we can get a Starlight. That's definitely worth more than a dollar, no matter if it's the worst one. The uh, Perlegia, we have the Monocroy, the Intimidating Ore, Chaos Beast, Yagamaru, and the Super Rare. All right, just a Super Rare guy. Back to trying to pull Legendary Duelist, Rage of Raw, the Ghost Rare, Winged Dragon overall. Let's go. Come on, Mechlord Fortress. I have not pulled it. I pulled it one time, I think, and it was a long time ago. Raw's Disciple and the Makiura. So I'm really looking forward to doing it again at some point, maybe if it ever happens. So I'm going to keep trying. We got the Ten of Pharaoh Gods coming up, 100 packs open today. Will we be able to pull something big? Link Apple, a classic. I might grab this and you know, pull that aside. We have the you and I red carp, laundry trap. Ooh, trap tricks for Siculo. They're pretty big right now, the trap trick stuff. We have the Denmari, Breaking Ruin God, the Warhawk Skyler, more Warhawk, great. And then a Dark Magician Girl Secret, Prismatic Secret Rare, I guess you could call it. That is beautiful. That's definitely going to be adding to our, you know, total value today. That's a great pull. One of the best cards in the set. Maybe the second best card behind Pot. I'm not exactly sure, though. All right, Blazing Vortex. Don't have a too many of these packs, but it is sort of a bad set, you know, Blazing Dumpster Fire, but it can pull a huge, like, Prisma or Starlight Rare, Prismatic Secret Rare. That's what they call it uh, over in Japan, I believe. We have the War Rock. We have the War Rock. That's actually not true. I don't know what they call it. Uh, they call it, I don't know. What, let me know in the comments. What do they call it over in the OCG uh, Starlight Rare? Here we go. What do we have? Okay, just a super rare. I got a look sighted there, but nothing too much. Back to a Tactical Masters. The second half over here that we haven't really touched, it's all the big boys. So look forward to that. We're going to be opening some really good stuff in this. I mean, I don't know if we're going to pull anything, but some good packs at least. Pendulum Scapegoat. We have the Pendulum Switch. We have a Valence World. <laughs> Valence are at it again. I've got another Maze Pack. Does that mean that we could pull the Gate Guardian? I don't know. We gave away a Gate Guardian the other day on my Whatnot stream. If you guys were there, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm recording this before I actually have done it. But I think it's going to be pretty epic. So make sure you guys check it out. You can always use my referral link down below. You get, you know, $15 for free, which is pretty cool. There's a super rare. And we will be doing more live streams over there as well. Plus, of course, I've already mentioned Twitch. We already do YouTube live streams. So if you want to see me live, I'm pretty much live all the time now. So it's just on different stuff. But there's probably at least four streams a week, sometimes five, even six at times. We have a Runic Destroyer. Very nice. All right, let's do another Battles of Chaos because I have 10 of those. So I'm hoping that one of these will have the Dark Magician inside that we want to pull. It's been a long time since I pulled it. Basically, since we opened it brand new, I have not pulled it. We have Maple Maiden. We have Smoke Mosquito, DDD Headhunt, the Dynamorphia Brute, Sinry, Fire Opal Head. We have the Siren and the Ice Jade Super Rare. So not only is it just a Super Rare, it's an Ice Jade Super Rare. So, you know, probably not great. All right, we have a bunch of these movie packs as well. So I'm going to go back to this. See if we can pull something nice out of these movie packs. Like, I think Dark Magician Girl is also in here. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon's in here. Lemon Magician again. We have the Berry Magician, also good. And the Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. So, uh, more Trinity and Cubics. All right, let's do a fun one. One of my favorite sets to open, Legendary Collection 2. You guys know I like these Legendary Collection packs. Usually pretty good value, so hopefully this will help our value. Captain Gold, I don't know if a common of this is worth anything. Not really sure. Rise of the Snake Didi. Well, that's a Ruxin special. Didi Survivor, that's a super rare Rainbow Neos. That's definitely worth a little bit. Ew, a Gladiator Beast War Chair. And I said, ew, like it was bad. I meant, ooh, that's a good thing. That's a good card. Blue to summoning Karibo, and then a Crystal Blessing. So, uh, pretty decent pack there. Nothing insane. We have a Dasher, which used to be money, but, you know, no more DP, really. All right, let's try this Maximum Gold El Dorado that we have here. Maximum Gold El Dorado. Let's see what we can pull. Oh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. It's a good card. We have number two, Numeron Gate. 
the Altergeist, and the Psyframe Gear Gamma, another good gold rare. Honestly, pretty good pack there for maximum gold. All right, so we're getting into the good stuff. Let's go back to Battles of Chaos because we do have a lot of these packs, so we can't, should probably open a few at a time of these. One, two, three, four. Can we make back some of our money? Here we go. Agent of Destruction, Imprudent, Double Cast of Caster, The Traitor, Leaf Pile's Place, The Ghost Trick Shot, Eurodora Fate, and the Ultimate Fusion for those Blue Eyes decks. So I wanted to do this video today because it felt a lot more like an old school Ruxin video. I don't know if you guys, if you've been watching for a long time, we used to kind of just throw packs together and open them. We didn't really have a concept for it. And I was like, you know what would be fun? Just opening a bunch of random packs. Like people love that stuff. Cubic Wave. I mean, how do you not love just opening random Yu-Gi-Oh packs? A hundred of them. It's just great. So I decided, you know what? Let's do it. Let's bring back old Ruxin, you know? And back in back in Ruxin, I remembered old Ruxin back in the day. He's my favorite. He's he was so much better back then. You know, we're back. We're back, baby. Here we go. I shade erosion. Fire Opal Head. We have the Ghost Trick Siren. Neroy. We have the Leaf Place Place and the Nordic Smith Evaldi. Another super rare. Let's go back to our amazing defenders. And also, we'll be opening up old packs in this hundred pack too. So I couldn't remember the last time we've done like an old opening that also had like a ton of packs. Like because we we do a lot of you know big openings where the new sets. Come out but it's all the same packs it's not like a variety so i was kind of like you know what this will be really fun let's try it out so let me know in the comments do you like this kind of opening i mean it's gonna be a long video i know most people like long videos some people don't but you know let me know in the comments we have the counter gate and we have the dark horizon that was not a great pack there back to our good friend tactical masters will there be something epic inside you gotta believe here we go we have the absolute king backjack cosmic cyclone fiend grieving senate switch capulse Rux and special right to the runic wings. That's just, you know, mooning, no big deal. Now let's grab one of these random packs we have up here, which is a first ad photon shockwave. So just for fun, this is what we could potentially pull out of here. A Ghost or a Galaxy Eyes, which is beautiful. Unfortunately, it has a couple print lines, but this is a really nice looking card. Never actually pulled this card. And as you guys know, I want to pull every Ghost Rare. So let's see if I can do it right here. And yeah, well, pull this one so we can check it off on the list at least. Because one day when we pull them all, we're going to make a massive montage video. Can you imagine that? Every Ghost Rare being pulled in a single video? Be pretty amazing. Let's see if we can do it. One day a piece, or at least add to it right now. Mirror Mail, and then we'll be showing this part when I'm, you know, showing that highlight video. Why not? warrior we have damage diet a corno he's a little corny baby tiragon and we have a needle sunfish this i remember from dual links which is funny but uh yeah this is a pretty old set so no guaranteed foil okay we tried no ghost right there but we do have some other amazing packs to open in this opening so keep an eye out or at least uh continue to keep an eye out can we get the dark magician so far we've made back some money here I'm just hoping we get to like, I'd be really happy if we got to like 300 bucks back. That would be pretty awesome. I mean, it's going to be hard. Dynamorphia Domain, that's a secret rare. So that's actually a pretty good card. For a while, this was pretty solid, but I think Dynamorphia has fallen off. And not that it was ever really good, but I don't know about really now at all. But I think we could aim for 300 bucks. So I think it's going to be pretty hard to get there. Like, I think uh, we've already done a little bit. You know, I've got a little bit, you know, back. We need a big pull to really get to like 300, though. I mean, even especially if we got to like half, that'd be great. E Pearly Beauty, that's a super rare, but it's just really difficult to get a lot of your money back. It looks like I cut this pack open whenever I opened the box that this was in. Hopefully it didn't damage anything. That would be a problem. One, two, three, four. Cut like a Starlight Rare. That would be a nightmare. Tenshi, we have the Bio Insect Armor. Abyss Actor, Fierce Tiger, the Abyss Script, Dramatic Story, Cashier Overlap, Abyss Actor, Evil Eyes Unleashed, and... Ooh, a Cashier Rise Heart, another great Ultra Rare. That, okay, we're on a little bit of a hot streak here. You guys can see on the screen how well we've been doing. I mean, it's not super well, but also not awful. Like, we've had some decent pulls. We've had some stuff, you know, stuff like this. He's bringing out a few dollar cards. Dark Magic Veil. Can we get that Dark Magician Girl? That Blue Eyes Alternative. Lord Gaia and a Counter Gate. So, no, we cannot on that one, at least. Let's open another OTS Tournament Pack 21. Let's try this out and see if we can get an Ultimate Rare. Let's go. We have Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars for those Dragon Rulers. And Dwari the Sky Ninja. You think they knew they were going to bring back Blaster and stuff like that? I don't know. Maybe they did. That was Master Duel, right? But OCG, I saw just brought back some as well. All right, Tama, Tactical Masters. Give us a big collector rare and really turn this around. I mean, not really turn it around, but push us forward. Give us some momentum to like make some money back. That's a Rux and Special Trap Trick. The uh, Seiyan. And Gary the Runic Fangs. We're just pulling Runic cards over and over. Okay, let's do a maze. Then we're going to do an older pack, I think. We're going to delve into some of the older packs that we have 
Maze of Memories, give us an older card, such as Gate Guardian Collector Rare. I believe that is another Ruxin Special. Red Eye Soul. This set is very hard not to Ruxin Special. That's a super rare. Okay, nothing in there, but we Ruxin Special, so that's great. Okay, let's go way back to 2003. We have a Legacy of Darkness booster pack. This is unlimited, but you could still pull a secret rare, which would be amazing, even unlimited. And I would probably grade it if it's centered, because even unlimited Legacy of Darkness is not easy. One, two, three, four. Here we go. I take Yada, I take Injection, Fairy Lily, either one. These feel so thin. It's crazy how, how like, the card stock on some of these is crazy. All right, these are so thin. It's wild. Lizard Soldier, Gradius' Option, Puppet Magic of Dark Ruler, the Throwstone Unit, Spring of Rebirth, Bark of Dark Ruler. We have a Winged Minion, and finally we have the a forces so it's like the cards got thicker as they go because this feels kind of normal the first couple cards were extremely thin it's weird all right so we didn't hit anything there but uh yeah i don't know sometimes there's just these old packs a lot of times the quality is great and then sometimes you're like what in the world is going on with this pack shining we have i mean they are old so it makes sense dogmatic cabre sonic iridora fate clear new world skilled brown magician oh we got the arkansas razorbacks unfortunately recently lost in the sweet 16. all right Time to go back for the ghost rare. It's time. We need a ghost rare. I would love to pull a ghost rare in this opening. We have a few packs that could pull ghost rares. We pull one, I'd be happy. Jinzo ghost rare? No, it doesn't exist. Okay. Jura, or at least not in uh, TCG. We have left arm offering and the everlasting alloy. The alloy. Okay, been a while since we've opened a 2022 10 of Pharaoh Gods. Let's see if we can get the Prismatic Secret Rare. Let's go. We have the Expendable Die, Icy Breeze, Floundries, Floundries, Rank Up Magic, Screams of the Branded. We have a Masquerade, a good card. We have another Ultra Rare that I can't read. I think it's DDD. AI Meet You and Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. A pretty good card that's definitely going to be worth over a dollar. And then the Sunvine Sewing. So we got some commons here. Honestly, pretty solid pack. Another Blazing Vortex, our second to last pack of this set. Will it be the Pot of Prosperity? Any version, but Starlight, we will literally freak out. Honestly, it would almost make our money back. It's like a $650 card, I think. Breath of Acclamation, Neroy, Skyler, S-Force, Fabled. That's an ultra rare. Seven Cities of the Golden Land for those Eldritch decks. Very cool, but uh, really don't know if it's worth too much now that it's had like, I think it's had a reprint in one of the Mega Tens. Maze of Memories up next. Maze, I believe in you. You will give us something good. Here we go. We have the Performo Pal, the Nimble Angler, Suijin, Ryoku, the Gate Guardian of Water and Thunder, or the, uh, yeah, Water and Thunder. That's right. Okay. Elf and the Raven. Bad card. Tama, you're back. To bring us luck, here we go. What will it be? Will it be a collector rare? I believe. We have the Runic, we have the Anti-Spell, the Nazuki, Valence, Quick Booster, and a Valence World, man. It's always Valence. It's always gotta be Valence. All right, let's try a little 5Ds action raging battle. So Ghost Rare out of here would be an amazing pull, the Power Tool Dragon. I recently gave one of those away on our whatnot stream the other day. So one, two, three, it would be pretty funny to actually pull one after that. We have the Morphtronic Repair Unit to start it off. Automatic Laser, Mermaid Archer, Miracle Locust, Wonder Clover, Evil Thorn, crazy card. I feel like I need this for a deck somewhere. I'm gonna pull it out. I don't remember where it was, but I'm gonna pull it out. Attack at the Corner Rat, that used to be like a six star common, by the way. Uh, Emperor Sim, and we have Black Whirlwind. All right, maybe it was the Gate Guardian deck that Sam sent me. I feel like it was. I think he was using Evil Thorn in that. All right, Battle of Chaos. I've never actually used it myself. It is a plant, so one, two, three, four, pretty cool. VOP will love that. We have Top Share, we have the Agent of Destruction, Monster Rebirth, Ice Shade Erosion, Silver Vine, Sinry, The Strife, Dynamorphia Sonic, Eurodora of Fate, and a Vision with Eyes of Blue. So the, uh, you got blue eyes, you have visions, pretty cool. Photon Hypernova coming up next. I don't know what like percentage we are, maybe we're halfway done, I really don't know. I'm just gonna keep going and just go with it and hopefully pull something good. Our, our value's been popping up, so you guys know where we are, but it feels like we have not pulled anything big really at all. Okay, Scareclaw and a Apophis of Swamp Deity. Man, what's up with all the trap monsters coming back? Come on, movie pack. Give us that Blue Eyes alternative and the Dark Magician Girl in the same pack. That'd be great. Let's just do it. We have Cubic Karma. Pretty cool. Cubic Rebirth. Man, these, these are not good. Okay, we have Chaos Form. Maybe good. And then the more Cubic Seed. All right, Tournament Pack 21. Let's go. Give us that Sprite Blue Ultimate Rare. We have a Galaxy Expedition, Sacred Sword. And the tier elements, Merly, another super at it again. Man, where are they? We gotta get something good. Let's get another Tactical Masters here. Let's see if we can get a Collector Rare. We've opened a few of these, no Collector Rare so far. A lot of Collector Rare packs, no Collector Rare, which you guys know, it's one in three boxes, so it's pretty hard to pull. Ooh, a Runic Fountain, there's a good card. So this is at least worth something, an Ultra Rare. It's not a Collector Rare, that would've been a big one, but we'll take that. All right, I have one Ghost from the Past First Edition pack. So we're gonna go for this, 
See if we can get a ghost or a dark magician. It's still like 500 bucks, something like that. So that would be pretty huge. Artifact of Miss Valley, Metaphors Counter, Time Thief Retrograde, and a Starry Night Sky. So no, we will not pull it here. Okay, it's time. Crossroads of Chaos. Can we get a ghost or a black rose dragon? That would be absurd. I would cry with happiness. I've never pulled that one. That would be pretty amazing. Confusion Chaff, really any Black Rose would be pretty awesome. Omega Goggles, Morphtronic, Copy Plant. We got the Card Rotator, Goblin Decoy Squad, Fragrant Storm, Trap of the Imperial Tomb, and a Bamboo Scrap. So back in 2008, obviously no guaranteed foil, so nothing there. Who is this little dude? That's Is that Griggle? Is that what his name is from Magic Ruler? Okay, Power of the Duelist. Wait, look how, look how like weirdly printed this is where the P is over there and then it's kind of off the side. Yeah, it's, it's definitely weird. This is unlimited, I believe, yeah. Unlimited Power of the Duelist. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare inside. Pull something crazy. I would be happy with that. We have a baby Sarasaurus. We have Destiny Hero Blade Master, the Alien Hunter, Brainwashing Beam, Black Stego, Baby Sarasaurus, Crystal's Dolphin, Lapaz of Destiny, Ambulance Rescue Roid, and we have a ultimate rare alien mother. That's an unlimited alien mother. That's pretty cool. We did in fact get an ultimate rare. That's pretty nice. Our first ultimate rare pulled. It'd be great if we pulled ultimate collector rare starlight rare all in the same video. It'd be pretty, pretty neat. I'm just saying. Back to Battles of Chaos. That's a nice pull. I wasn't expecting to get a one pack magic ultimate rare, but we've been doing that a lot recently, getting a lot of random ultis from old packs. I'm okay with that continuing. Just continue that forever. Ice Shade Erosion, Tribe, we got Epsilon, Brute, Sinri, and Libromancer Intervention. That is a super rare. Let's go. Photon Hypernova. I think this is our last Photon Hypernova. A little bit of a ding there. One, two, three, four. That's okay. We got some big packs left. Circle of the Fairies, Big Bang, Vala, Liberty, the Chaos Beast, Dinah, Bestial Ball Drake, Biz Actor Super Producer, and Pressured Planet, Rate Soth. I don't know if you say it like that, but that is a really good secret rare. Our values are looking pretty good right now. That's definitely added it up. So, uh, wow. Okay. Maybe we will get to that 300 I wanted. If that's still a $70 card, which I guess it's probably come down to like 50 maybe. Hopefully it's still at least 50 All right. Talk about a good pull. Let's go. All right. Now let's get a uh, Ghost Rare right here out of Rage Raw. Let's do that. That would really turn us around. Jinzo Returner, Mechlord Fortress, Jinzo. Okay, just a Jinzo. And then, yeah, because I think that would be where the Hollow would be if there was one in there. No big deal because we have a Ultimate Rare or an, an Ultimate Rare Sprite Blue coming up. Just keep that in mind. We have a Network Trap Hole, Trap Hole Spikes, and we have a Black Feather Counter. That is not a Sprite Blue Ultimate Rare. Okay, we got three more packs of this, so we might as well open it up, get that Pot of Prosperity out of this pack. Here we go. We have Heavy Bee Trooper, very nice. Guitar, Ice Jade, that is a Ruxin Special. Dragoonity Knight, Rocket Caliber, Aerial Picks 3, The Wind Witch Diamond Bell, Book of Lunar Eclipse, okay, super rare. We got Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Maybe money, not really sure. Nibiru, that's definitely a good pull. I forgot that was, this was in here as an, uh, you know, just an ultra rare. We have the True Sun God and Arm Dragon Thunder level seven. That's definitely not good. Okay, that's bad. White Baking, very cool common. You'll love to see him. And then, uh, okay, we got some Despian. Not terrible. That Nibiru was definitely a good pull, but now we have Maze of Memory. So let's see, can we get a Collector out of Maze? Keep us going. We still have not pulled a Collector Rare. So we've gotten Prismatic Secret, Secret. We've gotten, okay, there's no Collector Rare there. We've gotten an Ultimate Rare. We just need a Ghost Rare, Starlight Rare, Collector Rare, and we're good to go. All right, Maximum Gold, El Dorado. The search for El Dorado. Will we pull something good? Gold Rare, come on, Access Code Talker. We have Code Talker. There it is, good sign. That's a Numeron Storm and... Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Not a bad card, but in Gold Rare, you have to be a really good card to be worth a dollar. Tactical Masters, you're back up. We still got a lot of old school packs left, guys. A lot of them. Let's get a Collector Rare just to get into that old school. You know, even though it's not old school, it'll just get us hyped up. Trap Trick and Labyrinth Labyrinth. So Labyrinth, speaking of those, they're there. All right, the ultimate pack. We saved this for not the end, but you know, Fist of the Gadgets. It's one of the greatest packs ever. So let's see if we can get something crazy out of Fist of the Gadgets. Code Talker again. A Morphage. We have the Mystical Beast Master Cerberus. That's actually not a bad card. Bram Snake and Ultimate Fire Formation Sento. Wow, that was a really good pack. I'm glad that I put this one in here. Very solid. All right, let's try this one first edition Cross Souls and see if we can get, you guys know, Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, something like that. Let's go, because they're all in here. This is a main set where they had those. We had Doom Dog Octhros. There we go. Abyss Stung Ray, Magma Dragon, Yosin Whirlwind, Shadal, 
Harmonic. We have Performal Palace Spring Goose. The Satellar Knight Zephyrus Sikton and <laughs> Red Raptor Sharp Lanius. Wow, that was, that was a disaster. We are back to Raging Battle. We have a couple of these left after this, so we could still pull that Power Tool Dragon Ghost Rare. It's going to be a long video, guys. Hopefully that popcorn is tasting good right now because I know you guys are sitting back, your feet up, eating popcorn, enjoying the show, hoping for a Ghost Rare just like me. Junior Capture, Miracle Locust, Junk Box, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Ojama Red, and Level Returner with Sangan on him. Pretty cool artwork, I'll give him that. Now we're going super old to the Labyrinth of Nightmare, the purple pack, very beautiful purple pack. Let's see, oh, I just destroyed that. Will we get something insane? Like a secret rare, like an ultra rare, one, two, three, four. These are old school, I can feel the old school in them. Earl of Demise, Soul of Purity and Light, these feel a lot better than those other ones. Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish. The backs of them are feeling very like coarse, it's interesting. Fusion Gate, this was like money in first dead for a while. Shining Abyss, Mario Kutai, and we have another common, and we have a Deep Fusion. That's a super rare from an old school pack, so unfortunately, I don't think this is like huge money, but it is a nice pull. All right, we're getting down towards the end of these packs, but a lot of these are heavy hitters, so we got a lot of nice packs left. One, two, three, four. We just need to pull a Starlight Rare and a Dark Magician in this pack right now. Flower Dino, we have the Intrusion, Cast a Caster, the Brute, Bear Bear, Dimension Conjurer, the Fire Opal Head, Oh, and a blue eyes tyrant dragon played against this on Master Duel the other day. That's uh, interesting. That's actually a pretty decent card. I think it's a few bucks. Okay, movie pack secret edition. No blue eyes alternative yet, but we just got a tyrant dragon. So you might want to couple it with that. Could be amazing. We have the buster, Valky. We have the cubic. These are all cubic. Pandemic dragon and dark magician. Secret rare. And yes, these do go for a little bit because pretty cool artwork and a nice secret rare print. So. That's a good pull. All right, back to some older packs. Shadow Spectres, considered to be a terrible set at the time, but I really love the Ghost Rare in here, so it'd be a pretty great pull. I think we have pulled it in, maybe it was unlimited when we pulled it. I don't remember if it was first dead or not. Ghost Rick Spectre, we have the Resetsu Druid. That's a Ruxin special, the Centipede. Dragon Shield, we have the Mira. Oh, and an ultimate rare. I did the pack trick wrong. C96 Darkstorm with a couple. Yeah, we get Gigantic Castle rare there. Ultimate rare. Let's go. Wait, that's two ultimate rares in this opening. That's not bad. That's actually a pretty sick looking one. The XC's ultis look amazing. All right, that was a crazy pull. We need a ghost rare, a collector rare, and a starlight rare. That would be pretty epic if we could pull those. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We have a Springin's Captain, Ojama Pink. Digital bug, 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 the Tri Brigade, Linear Equation, Arm Dragon Lightning, the Spring is Rocky, Dual Avatar, and Sacred Tree Beast, Hyperton. Nothing too crazy, one final OTS pack. Will it be an ultimate rare Sprite Blue? Here we go, we have, or of course the Fenrir would be great. Mud Dragon of the Swamp, and a Rescue HHQ. So just a super rare, no big deal. We do have another Rage of Raw though, so we could pull something crazy here. Rage of Raw, Ghost Rare. We have a Jorgetto, Left Arm Offering, the Mech Lord Fortress, Psychic Shockwave, and uh, Mech Lord Deflection. Wow, this is uh, this is okay. It's fine. Out of those uh, Rage of Raw, they're not great, but that's okay. Megaton. This is gonna have a pot of prosperity inside. Wind Witch Freeze Bell. Master Diplo Man, Yamoramuri, we have the Rocket Caliber, the, that is too many names, okay, the Virtual World Super Rare, the Daphne, we've got a Baby Mud Dragon, Lena the Light Charmer Lustrous, and Branded Opening, not a bad Prismatic Secret, we'll take that, that's probably worth at least a dollar, okay, not a terrible pack. All right, back to our legendary collection to the Dual Academy years. Gave us some good value the first time. Let's see what it will give us this time. Clock Tower Prison, Rainbow Neos. Again, same pack. Ooh, and a Ubel, the ultimate nightmare. Nice secret rare. Electrum, also a nice ultra rare. Not a bad pack there. Grand Mole and Infernal Gainer. So honestly, pretty solid there. Now we have our last Eldorado pack. Will we pull a gold rare here? Well, we will definitely will pull a gold rare, but will it be a good one? Here we go. We have a Hita. We have a Black Rose Alternate Art. That's pretty good. And IP Mascarena. We are adding up some value here. There we go. Adding to the total summon limit maybe actually be worth something. Probably not because it's in, you know, gold. So probably bad. All right, Primal Origin time. Really don't know a ton about this set. I just remember they reprinted a lot of the cards in here. One, two, three. Can we get a Ghost Rare though? Or Ulti? There's some good, or at least some Ghost and Ultis. I don't know if they're good, but what's the Ghost Rare in here? I can't remember. 
Galactic Charity. So I probably don't even have it then. Try and guess. Scrap Factory. Ooh, a number for C43 and a Artifact Aegis. So uh, yeah, that's not good. Now let's go into EX Gamer's favorite pack, the Ancient Prophecy. Will we pull a Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon? Let's go three. Let's pull it right now. Ghost Rare. We have Imperial Custom. Sunny Pixie. I believe we can do it. Quackamira Hydra Barrier. Water Hazard. Ragagura. Brain Research Lab, the Infernity Beast, Serapod Brachion, remember when we pulled one with no name, and then a Battle Teleportation. That is just a regular old common, unfortunately. But don't worry, Raging Battle returns. Will this one have an Ultimate Rare or a Ghost Rare inside? I have to believe that it will. Let's go. One, two, three. Here, oh, upside down card. That could be a good sign. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. We'll see. We have the Proof of Powerlessness, hoping that it's a good sign here and it's a Ghost Rare. Here we go. Urge of Synthesis. We have a Crimson Fire. We're going to keep it upside down for good luck. Sure, the Blue Flame, also a good card. Going to pull that out for Edison Dex. Quacky Mirror Guardian. We have Mirror of Oaths. I wonder if Sure is actually worth money in common. Not really sure. We have a Quacky Mirror Ice. And finally, we have a Storm Wind Dragon. Oh, it is an Ultra Rare. I thought it was just a rare at first. Strong Wind Dragon, not Storm. Okay, Strong Wind Dragon, Ultra Rare. That's a good pull out of Raging Battle. We'll take that all day. Okay, that was a solid pull. Let's see if Crossroads of Chaos can follow it up with an even better pull. Ultimate Rare, Ghost Rare, something like a Secret Rare even. One, two, three. They are available in these sets. All of those rarities. Morphtronic Engine, very nice. So that goes along with the Raging Battle. Giant Trap Hole, Selphon, Cameron. Cord, Morph Transit. Wow, that is literally all Morphtronic cards all in a row, except Giant Trap Hole. That's crazy. Giant Cephalotus, the Turbo Synchron, and a Iron Chain Coil. So, yeah, that's not that exciting, but Ghost Rare next time, maybe? All right, we are back to Legacy of Darkness. Let's see if these cards feel extra thin again. I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. I feel like it's always Legacy of Darkness, too, where they feel kind of weird. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Will there be a Secret Rare inside? Ready for intercepting. Feels a little bit better. Nutrient Z. That's a Ruxin special again. It's always on the second card. Warrior Digreffer. Dragon. They definitely feel weird. Robo Lady. Bad Reaction. Samochi. Spirit Ryu. Spiritual Energy. Settle Machine. And after Genocide, the original name. Before they changed it. Because, you know, it's a little sketch. LON time. Will we be able to pull something huge here? I hope you guys have enjoyed this 100 pack opening so far. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you're enjoying it, if you're having fun, if you like these long videos. Let me know. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Amazon Archer. These definitely feel like old school, these LON. Supply. We have Blind Destruction. Scroll of Bewitchment. The Emperor's Holiday. Gross Ghost of Lead Dreams. Lady Assailant of Flames. Dragonic Attack and Secret Rare. Come on. Jaugen the Spiritualist, a classic old card for that last turn combo, but not a foil. All right, now we open a Magic Ruler. We had three of these. I haven't opened one yet from this opening. So let's see if we can get something big. Let's see what we can grab. Will it be a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? Chorus of Sanctuary. Mechanical Snail. Slot Machine. Where's his little brother? And there he is. Guardian of the Throne Room. Guardian. Queen Bird. Whiptail Crow. Performance of the Sword. Giant Turtle who feeds on flames and a Giant Trunade Super Rare. That's a good card from Magic Ruler. Giant Trunade, one of the best cards in the set. Just a lot of amazing Magic cards from Magic Ruler. Who would have guessed? Now we're definitely down to the last few here. Let's see if we can get some great pulls because I think our value is kind of close to that 300 gold that I had. I mean, we're still losing $550 at that rate. We're just doing this for fun, not necessarily to, you know, make money here, but uh, Apple Magician Girl. I figured, you know what, today's the day. We do a little bit of an old school, lose some money opening, you know, that's just how it goes. We got the Cubic King and the, all right, Cubic Emperor, all right. One more chance at the Ghost Rare Wing Dragon Raw. Come on, I want to pull it so bad. It's been so long and I want it to be minty. I mean, of course, obviously I want that, but just pulling it would be worth it. I don't care if it's scratched up. If it is not scratched up though, we go crazy. Mind control, here we go. Ah, oh, Mechlord Army of Grinnell. We're going to keep hunting though. We're going to pull it again one day, guys. All right, Megaton time. Will we pull that Prosperity today? We had great luck the first time I opened some of these packs. Like, not the first time, but recently I opened some. I think it was the 2020 versus 2021 versus 2022. Might need that card, actually. Terror of the Underroot. We have a Flip Frozen, the Ingunar. We have the Magic Key Fiend, the oh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Nice. Shari, <laughs> that's so funny. That's a super rare. Stardust Trail Ultra Rare. Another Nibiru. That's a good pull. And... 
Red Eyes Black Dragon. I think this artwork is pretty cool. And definitely a solid card. We'll take that. We also got the Dark Magician Girl. So no Pot of Prosperity, but we got two of the alternate art old school cards. Okay, we somehow have a Tactical Masters left. Like they just never go away. We always have more Tactical Masters. Let's see what's inside this one. Come on, Collector Rare. We never pulled one today. It's our last chance, I think, at one. Reckless Greed. We have an Anti-Spell Fragrance. More Runic. Okay, that's not a surprise. On to our last Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy Years. Will there be a really nice card inside? We have Ureza, Thunder Giant, Avian, Sheehan's Chancellor, not Counselor, that's a super rare. We have the Shining Flare Wingman. That is definitely going to be worth a few bucks. That's awesome. We have a Rainbow Dark Dragon, and then Gladiator Proving Ground's pretty good as well. And uh, Plasma Vice, I think, is like two bucks. So not a terrible pack. The Shining Phoenix Enforcer is really nice. All right, we're all pretty much old school, or at least, you know, before, you know, the Dark Ages of Yu-Gi-Oh, which was 2016, you know, and after. 2016 to 2018, really. Cross Souls, I think, was one of the last sets that had a Ghost Rare, and it wasn't the last one. It was probably like 2014 when it came out. Chosen Zephra, Edge Saw. Fiend Grieving, the UA Penalty Box, Raid Raptor Shard Lanius, the Putrid Pudding Body Buddies, ugh, the, uh, ooh, the Yusinju Oyam, and Super Every Samurai, Big Oraji. All right, no luck on that one, but we have Clash of Rebellion. This was the second to last set with Ghost Rares right before uh, Dimension of Chaos. So there's a really nice Ghost Rare Red Eyes in here. So I'd love to pull that one, two, three, or at least in this set, maybe not in this pack specifically. Let's see if we can get it. We have a Hat Trigger. Despot 005, the uh, Salt Tiger. We got the Flame Eater. Return. Opera the Melodious Diva. Oh, we did get it! I did the back trick wrong, but it's an ultimate rare. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Whoa, this has been a really solid opening. Whoa, we pulled this guy before in an error pack, which was insane. It's hard to top that, but where, where was that the secret rare? I can't remember. We pulled, I think we pulled both in that opening. That's an amazing card. I really love the look of this one. Also, it was a first ed pack, so that is amazing. Oh, Red Eyes Flare Metal pulled again. This has been a really good opening, actually. You guys can see what we've pulled so far in terms of value. It seems like we're actually doing pretty well, but it shows you even if you pull crazy a lot of the time, you don't even like get close to your money back. Uh, so I've been doing it like this, but it hasn't really been working. So maybe I switch. I don't know. We'll keep doing it. Jar Turtle, we have the Out of the Blue. That's a Rux special. The Mechlord Emperor. Mechlord Fact. I didn't really realize how many Mechlord cards are in Extreme Victory. All right, I guess that's where it started. Scarlet Security. Mechlord Army of Grinnell. Resolution, the Resolute Mechlord Army, the Resolute Desk. All right, Nick Cage, send us some luck. Here we go, Power of the Duelist, first dead. We already got an Ultimate Rare out of the Unlimited pack, so let's see if we can do it out of the first dead pack as well. Chimera Tech Over Dragon, do I smell you coming? Let's go. Crop Circles, it's been a long video, so hope you've enjoyed it. We're getting down towards the end. Will we have more luck? Because we had some pretty good luck today. Contact, we have Alien Gray, Fossil Excavation, and spell calling so none right there but i have faith that the rest will be good okay we have eight packs left the rest are one ofs but we have two magic rulers so we're gonna do one magic ruler now one at the end we already got a super rare and a magic ruler so we can't really expect too much but i'm expecting much i mean i'm not gonna lie i am expecting things out of magic ruler one two three four come on it's been a good opening let's just finish it off with a bang course of sanctuary mechanical snail slot machine where's the little brother Ooh, psychic kappa no little brother various hand mirror we got griggle there he is I knew that was Gurgle earlier. Final Destiny and a Sinju of the ten or the Thousand Hands. Then there's Manjo of the Ten Thousand Hands. Then there's the new guy who was a trillion hands apparently. Seven packs remain. Just give us a Ghost Rare. Why not? Crimson Crisis Unlimited. I would love to pull the Red Dragon Archfiend to Soul Mode Ghost Rare. I've never pulled that one first ad or unlimited, so it'd be great to pull one. Let's do it right now. We have a Assault Slash, Morphtronic Map, Mysterious Triangle, Trap Eater, Prevention Star, Dark Tinker. Psychic Sword, Wall of Thorns, just like Magic the Gathering, and a Scanner. That is a super rare. It's going to be scanning. Six packs remaining, one of them being Ancient Prophecy. Will we pull the Legendary? Ancient Fairy Dragon recently got an errata, so maybe that means we're going to pull it. It's just trying to hop out of the pack and be played. Here we go. Silver Wing, just like in Pokemon, where you get the Lugia. Fernity Beast, the Flamvel Counter. Shark Cruiser, Sword of Sparkles, Spirit Burner, Core Reinforcements, and a Hydro Pressure Cannon. Hydro Cannon. 
kind of like Pokemon. Five packs to go, Raging Battle. Will you have us something amazing? It's been a good opening so far. I don't think Raging Battle has really blessed us too much though. So I think Raging Battle needs to step up. One, two, three. So far the pack trick for the most part works. I think the uh, scanner was on the right spot. Psychic Path, we got Proof of Powerlessness. Minoan Centaur, the GB Hunter. Black Minshura, that's two of those. So I guess that's pretty good out of Raging Battle. Vanguard of the Dragon. I played this against Simo one time. He's like, what is this card? Snowman Eater, that's good for Edison as well. And... Rose Tentacles, all right, Rose Tentacles. Our last non-DM era pack, The Crossroads of Chaos. One I was the most, or one of the ones I was the most excited about, I'd say. Well, not the most excited, but one of the ones I was the most excited because I've never pulled Black Rose Dragon. So if we do, in fact, pull that Ghost Rare, that would be insane, comrade. I've never pulled a Ghost Rare, I should say. Synchro Strike, Nettles. I don't know if I pulled the ult either. Oh, a Ryzen. So it changes over, because like here and now it's not here, it's here. So it changes based on what set you're in. Ryzen Super, that is not guaranteed. We will take that all day. Last three packs, send some luck in the comments, guys. We have Legacy of Darkness. Will we get a Secret Rare Injection Fairy Lily? Send me some luck. We need to pull something crazy here. To end the 100 pack opening, one, two, three, four. We have a Gradius's option, Illusory Gentleman, a Legendary Ocean, Robo Yaru, Troop Dragon, Fangxing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness, Faint Plan, and a Dark Ruler, Ha Dead. Oh, and it's damaged at the top a damaged dark ruler it looks like that pack got a waxing at some point ouch that is unfortunate hey it's a cool pull but wow i've never seen something so bent out of a pack that is pretty rough man that is really rough that thing got a serious bend to it ouch so uh cool pull but unfortunate condition okay now we gotta top that we can't end with that card right we can't end with a bent corner hot desm that was a cool pull too come on legacy not legacy of darkness labyrinth of nightmare different different set completely but right before it one two three four let's just get a secret rare we have a skull lair hysteric fairy headless knight lady panther grave robbers retribution gadget soldier fairy guardian we got the offerings to the doomed and uh, spirit message I, if we did it with an l i would have been pretty mad and finally a magic ruler pack what will we pull from the magic ruler and our last of 100 packs if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this and you guys can see how much money we've made back let's see if we can add to it right here with a blue eyes tune dragon turtle oath let's go twin long rods number two chorus of sanctuary dark wish crab turtle snake fangs peacock and here we go a mango ryu ran is our last pack we did pretty well here's how we did we pulled a lot of really cool cards shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice three through three mycycle james jance tcg trusted cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and then the show ian musa junior Barty, mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace